from Brooklyn, New York. Originally, but I was raised in Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. I've always been interested in performing arts, music, that kind of deal. And then once I had the opportunity to go to like some esteemed magnet programs, some schools that really focused on it, I jumped at the opportunity and I had to do it. So I did my thing. I was always at music and I went to Florida Atlantic University, did the college thing. It was all right. And then I ended up wanting to move and pursue a career in music and communication. So radio was always my biggest thing. Like I love radio. So I figured the best way to get there is to go to a bigger market that wasn't so crowded. So I ended up leaving Miami, moving to Orlando, and also had some family there. And then I did that, pursued DJ. Now that was my gateway into the radio, into like the clubs, the scene. And from then, God willing, I blew up. I'm over here, I'm doing my thing. I'm traveling to Germany, to Europe. I'm going to Vegas, Cali, Hollywood, just doing what I love. This is my dream that I'm living, and I love it. I haven't had a nine to five since I was flipping boards at Home Depot and cutting it and pasting it and slapping it on people's trucks. So I was like, this is not what I want to do. So I just pursued my dream and I kept going. You first got to not really think about it as you're just a DJ. You want to be a well-rounded musician. Like you want to be able to think in terms of what can you do to make you happy but not box yourself in. And most importantly, you gotta monetize that thing. If you're doing it for the love, that's all right. But it's 2015, we're about to be in 2016, you gotta make money. So if you can do that, you'll be all right. And it gets really tough. So you gotta stay, stay the course. Don't get annoyed, don't get discouraged. Stay the course, do your thing. And don't forget, it always gets better. It'll be all right. But I have a son, a beautiful little baby boy, Jace. That's my heart. He's a, he's a young buck. He's tough sometimes. I get no sleep, especially in the field that I'm in. But it's the best gift, blessing, the most amazing thing in the world. And I love it. Wouldn't take it back. Since I have a big family, I'm naturally like a giver. So if I ever have the opportunity to help you, I'll take it. And if I really say I don't have it, I ain't got it. <laughs> Secondly, I want people to know that I play a lot of different musical instruments. It's not just DJing for me. Like, I love piano, I love guitar, I love trumpet, drums, all of those things. So if I can, if DJing doesn't work out for me, I can always go back to playing like a one-man band show with the drums in one hand and trumpet in the other, and I'll be all right. <laughs> And lastly, I want you to know that I'm coming to a city or a state near you. My passport is almost filled up, so I'm gonna need a second or third one pretty soon. You'll be seeing me really soon. If it's polka, I'll play it. If it's a mixture of like some Haitian music and some Rick Ross, I'll play it all as one. I'm like a walking DJ hero game. Mash everything together. That's my favorite.